Hi guys, my name is Nintendo N64, and welcome back to another review. Wow, that actually sounds like really rough. Like, I don't know. So, back from that randomness, I don't know what I was doing. I guess just maybe trying to. I don't know, trying too much to do something. But for the, this video's review, I am going to do. So, I think it took me a while to think about, like, should I do this review game or should I not? I mean, I want to either do it, like, either a special occasion, just do it or not. Because I'm kind of, like, losing ideas what to do. And I just need to get a video done and real quick. And I also made new openings, so I gotta use, like, more videos since I have a good opening and, and a good outro. So, for this video... And for this review, I am going to be reviewing, I guess so, I mean it's still a good game, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's really good, Super Smash Bros for Wii U. Now for the Wii U version, it's kind of like the 3DS, a lot of uh, sames, a lot of little difference, I said a lot both times, but don't listen to that second one. So. There's a lot of sames, of course, because there's the characters, they're all the same, like you have Samus and Mario, you even have the DLC characters for that, and uh, there's, of course, Miis, you can make your Miis on that, you can also do Amiibos on both of them, but this is something the Wii U version has that the 3DS doesn't. So yes, I know I am behind of my reviewing and stuff like that, but this is for those who want to get into Smash Bros. But for now, the Wii U version, because I'm talking about the Wii U version. Alright, so the Wii U version has an extra part with the uh, bomb throwing. It has three levels, like easy, medium, like hard or something. I guess we can go with that. But, and also... With it, you can also connect your, uh, just for a bonus points for review. I say bonus points. I don't care. <laughs> but for the very special thing that this game has, that the 3DS doesn't, that makes me so happy about it, is that you can go up to eight players. Now, I know it's, like, really hard to see, especially when, like, there's 50 characters on there, and you're like, ah, I can't find me. It's really confusing a lot, but it, it's so good because you can, like, get extra controllers and use your 3DS and get the game. It's really good with that. That's the best part about this game, and this is why it's just, like, so good. That's one of my most favorite part about this game, because this game allows more players than just four to play it. That's Kind of a little mistake they noticed in uh, Brawl because so much people played it that they're like, let's just add more players. Why not? Now, if you have the 3DS, you know what the Smash Run thing was, right? But now, with this one, it's like, why did you do the Smash Run? Is it Smash Run? No, no, it's, it's Game Board or something like that. That's what they did to this one. So, they did the one that's like, they did, instead of Smash Run, they changed it to like, a board, a game, they play board, play, why is it they, I don't know, but, I don't do, I mean, it, it's pretty fun, it's just that you're not gonna win, because the computers always win problems I have but that's a little rough my rage part but with the board thing but instead of having like smash run how 3ds has this like a fifth hundred channel said that it has like this board game where you have to like it, it really is pretty cool actually but just this is not the best smash run will always be better because you have to like, collect all this stuff in time for this one you're playing like a game board or by game piece by piece and then at the end you all the characters smash bros characters you have you have to fight each other so that's also pretty cool which i and that my myself really like so that's the one thing i actually kind of like this but smash run will always be better to me in my opinion
But not only that, they kind of made the stages a little bit more cooler. Because with some of the stages, they bring in, like, the boss from the uh, own game themselves. And made them be able to, like, fight. Like, kind of something like interrupting your fights or something like that. But I know the 3DS has... I think the 3DS still has it. Yeah, yeah, the 3DS still has some lots of the uh, Mega Man character. But the... The Wii version has the Metal Dragon, not Metal, the Dragon from Metroid, I forgot, remember, if you know me that much with YouTube, then you know that I will forget important details, but it has that, and you can actually use that on your side, and point, use that as a kill thing, which is pretty cool, I has to be, I always try to get on my kill thing, but it never works. Because I always die before I can kill him. And yeah, that's basically all what's new about this one between the uh, 3DS version. There's a lot of like similar especially characters, the fighting, and I, well, yeah, it's like fighting, and there's just like a little extra and one big difference. There is like the Smash Bros. thing that in the brawl you were able to like go down like the event streets or something like that which I i'm pretty happy that they brought that back which is pretty cool but that is my review for super smash bros for wii u i know like i'm like really late of reviewing this but as i said i am losing lots of ideas of what to make but yeah so that's my review for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, I guess, for now, we, I might do the 3DS again, because I didn't do so great in my first video, because that was my first video. But if you like this video, make sure to crack it, that like button, if you want to leave a comment below, and what you want me to do in my next video, please put a comment like that, you can punch my ugly face for that. Don't forget to subscribe, and goodbye.